Damn, what a long time it's been. Well, I'm back, guys. It's Randy's Commentary bringing you a brand new commentary after six and a, probably more months, man. I actually, if you don't know the situation, I caught a, a, a strike, a copyright strike, and I couldn't upload videos or any. I couldn't do anything. And it was as if, you know, I was without anything. Like, I can't, I can't upload a video then how am I going to post on the channel? I can only upload very short videos, like two minute videos, three minute videos. And that's not enough for a commentary channel. And since then, this channel has grown a lot, you know, a lot. And thank you guys for those subscribing and watching whatever I have on this channel. But today I'm here to speak about basically E3 as we know is going on for the week. I'm not sure if it's still going on actually. I haven't really been keeping up much ever since the first day with Sony and Microsoft. Don't really care about Nintendo since I don't own any Nintendo products. So, I'm watching it. And you know, normally you got Sony and Microsoft who are always competing. Which this year, Microsoft hit it on the money because it was all about games, 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 games. Unlike their reveal, which was about fucking it apps and shit like nobody cares about apps I right? we want to see the fucking game we, we're gonna be paying 65 dollars for your game because we want to we want to play a game we want to see a new game we want to see something really good and this year they did they outdid themselves with all the games they showed and then sony came up and outdid themselves as well and but people argue who won sony or microsoft that's personal preference i'm not going to get into that because that's just personal preference there's no such thing as who won what now I'm watching that and all the companies are going up, EA, Ubisoft, all the companies are going up. And when I sat there and I really thought about it, I feel like Ubisoft had the better games. They had the better presentation, the better everything. And it, it's crazy because Ubisoft gets a lot of shit, you know, they rush their games. As, as we know, Watch Dogs came out not too long ago. I do own it. And it's not as good as we thought it was going to be as, as from what we saw at E3 the following year before. So people are like, Ubisoft rushes their game. They push out too many games. They're never ready to release their game. So many bugs. Personally, Watch Dogs was supposed to release uh, launch day for the PS4. And if it did, it'd have hella bugs. But then it released now. My alright doesn't look as good, but it does run very smooth. So I give Ubisoft that much. So a lot of people critique Ubisoft for having them rush their games and always pushing games things as assassin's creed which is the number one thing a lot of people dislike because they're always pushing assassin's creed year by year but people play it and the only complaint they really have about the game is the bug the bugs are falling through the map you know things like that so hold on guys so they this year they came out speaking having fun interacting with people and showing us things we wanted to, to see so we saw th games as far cry 4 now let me get into this far cry 4 looks gorgeous like the, the game looks go i don't even care if it's early stage like the game looks gorgeous like it's gorgeous and i sat there and i was like whoa like wow that's next gen power right there and as you keep going down, they showed the new Rainbow Six, and it's been a couple years since we've seen a Rainbow Six game. The last Rainbow Six was Rainbow Six Vegas 2, which I personally didn't like as much as most people did. You know, that's just personal preference. But this, what is it called? Rainbow Six Siege, I believe is what it's called. And I sat there, and I'm like, whoa, like, now this definitely looks like a game I want to play. And they're showing it the 5v5 multiplayer gameplay. How, well, you know, as it's E3, you know, the players always communicate with one another and have fun. And I'm there like, yo, this this is looking great, you know. This this is looking like something amazing. Like, so I, I think I have high hopes for that, for that Rainbow Six comeback. And then they showed Assassin's Creed and then they showed the four-player co-op of Assassin's Creed. Now, that's what blew everybody's mind about Assassin's Creed. They had the four-player co-op, which, you know... Assassin's Creed's always been a single player game with, you know, the multiplayer that you can always play, but mainly it's always been single single player. So to add a four player co-op to have people 
jump in with you to do missions and shit, have fun around, do assassinate, you know, do Assassin's Creed like things in a four player co op in an Assassin's Creed game. That's pretty fucking legit. Like, it, it was amazing to see something like that. And I sat there, I was like, you know, I was not excited for the new Assassin's Creed. But, from seeing that gameplay alone, I, I, I couldn't help myself and say, man, I gotta get this game and party up with my friends and just go out and have some goddamn fun. Because, man, I haven't had fun with Assassin's Creed in a while. 4, I have 4, and I don't really enjoy 4. It's really, eh, it's there. But this time, things are starting to change around. Now we keep looking at companies. We had EA show off their sports games. Madden, FIFA, which FIFA looks great. I think I'm going to really get FIFA 15. I have a feeling that's going to be an amazing game. Then we move on to Battlefield Hardline, which is the gameplay you see in the background right now. And Battlefield Hardline is it's pretty... It looks f pretty decent, but I've played it, so I can say it's all, it's pretty fun, you know. Gets intense, then, you know, people... It's, it's normal to see a Battlefield every year because they're competing with Call of Duty. And as well, we did see Activision's Call of Duty. Well, Sledgehammer Games, let me get it right. Sorry. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which I'm not very excited for because I don't really care for the story. I really want to see what the multiplayer is going to be like because that's what I'm going to be playing the most out of all. And then we had the biggest event of all, which was Bungie and Destiny, which Destiny, man, is looking great. I personally was gonna get Destiny anyway, but now you know it's 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 looking like don't get me wrong, Destiny is the most promoted game apparently of all time. Says Sony, what is it, five hundred thousand in advertisements and in game development as well. So I'd assume that the game does very well, but everybody that was at three E three has been saying you know Destiny is so great, it's so fun. It's it, you know they've been saying so many good things. I haven't heard much of a bad details or bad review of the game of what they played so far, which is very promising. You know, Bungie's first game out of Halo is gonna be this. And don't get me wrong, Bungie's only game they've ever made was Halo, so they breathe Halo. So of course there's similarities to Halo in the game, but I'm giving these guys a chance, man. And as, as final as well, we had the Grand Theft Auto 5 port to next gen, which I knew was going to happen. They couldn't just let their best selling game of all time stay on last gen consoles. You got to switch them over to next gen so us next gen can continue playing your game. And they did just that at E3. Sony had every game unlocked, you know. Of course, Call of Duty switched over. It's still with Microsoft. Of course, all those other games are still with Microsoft. But we're getting Destiny and GTA. And GTA is one of the biggest games of all time as player-wise and sale-wise. So, no matter what, Sony, I really believe, won the conference. But this topic mostly was about the game companies and who had the best presentation out of all the companies. And this year, I believe Ubisoft really won the pre presentation like Ubisoft really hit it with with the way they interact with their their jokes their games let alone their presentation alone I really think this year Ubisoft won th their showing and everything and I think in the next couple of years Ubisoft will stay on top as one of the best companies so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm out peace